Welcome back to our channel, where we unlock the secrets to a successful visa application. Today, we're going to talk about a crucial aspect of your journey, managing your bank statements. These documents hold the key to proving your financial stability, so let's dive right in. Alright, students, let's explore the possible ways to manage your bank statements for a smooth visa application process. Our first option is Fixed Deposit Receipts, also known as FDRs. If you have a considerable amount of money saved up in fixed deposit accounts, these receipts can be your ticket to impress the visa authorities. Remember, maintaining the funds for the required duration will strengthen your application. But what if you don't have FDRs? No worries, my student friends. Option number two, savings in bank accounts. Consistently saving money demonstrates financial discipline, and that's something visa authorities appreciate. Start depositing a portion of your income regularly, and watch your savings grow. Now, let's talk about option number three, bank loans. While it may not be your first choice, it can be a viable option for meeting the financial requirements of your visa application. Just make sure you understand the terms and conditions and have a solid repayment plan in place. Don't forget about option number four, contacting your bank. Your bank is your ally in this visa journey. Reach out to them and ask for the necessary bank statements. They'll guide you through the process and make sure you have the documents you need. Alright, student, those were the primary options. But wait, there's more. Option number 5. Electronic Statements. Many banks now offer e-statements, which you can access and download through your online banking portal. Print out these digital copies, and you're good to go. And here's option number 6. Bank Certification. Some banks provide certification services to validate and authenticate your bank statements. This adds an extra layer of credibility to your financial documentation. Reach out to your bank and inquire about this valuable service. For a concise overview, consider option number 7, Account Summary Letters. Instead of detailed bank statements, request an account summary letter from your bank. It provides key information about your account, transactions, and balances, satisfying the visa requirements. Next up, option number 8, official bank letters. Depending on your specific visa application, you might need an official letter from your bank. This letter confirms your account details, balances, and transaction history, serving as comprehensive proof for your application. And finally, option number 9, third-party financial statements. In certain cases, immigration authorities accept statements from certified accountants or trusted financial institutions. If you have investments or assets managed professionally, they can provide statements supporting your visa application. There you have it, we've explored the various options for managing your bank statements during your visa application. Remember to carefully review the guidelines and requirements specific to your application to choose the best option for you. And if you need further assistance, consider consulting with a visa consultant or immigration lawyer for professional guidance.